Hello John, this is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas, and I'm creating you this quick free custom video to show you three easy ways that you can beat your competition online, start taking back all the customers they're taking from you. And I know what you're probably asking, Devin, why are you making me this video? The reality is really simple. I found out a little while back, there's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all their time running their company and taking care of their customers, and they don't really have the time to learn how the internet can work for them and bring in more of those customers. And so the only thing typically holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is not knowing who is a expert and who is not an expert. So I found that by giving out these free attack plans and giving them away for free, um, a lot of those business owners still end up raising their hand at the end of it all and going, you know what, Devin, I like you, take care of this for me. So if at the end of this you see I've got some tricks up my sleeve and you want me to handle this for you, just give me a call and we can chat. <clears throat> if you want to take this information yourself and just apply it to your own website, by all means, that's okay too. So the three, the three things I'm going to talk about today are going to be content, backlinks, and then citations. So content is going to be anything on the front page of your website that Google can crawl through to determine what keywords they should rank you for and where they should rank you for those keywords. So that's going to be all the text that you can see on the front page. It's going to be all the text that's behind the images, and it's going to be all what the images are saved as as well. Now, to be considered an authoritative website in Google's eyes, you're going to want to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words nowadays. That used to be about 1,000 to 1,500, but they've upped it because the competition is rising. Okay, So looking at your page, I like your page. It's really easy to understand exactly what you do here. Um, it's very personalized. I like the, the rotating gallery. You've got all these different descriptions of water heaters. It's a good looking website. As far as what you're going to want as far as content, you're I can tell right away it's not at 1500 words, you're going to want to get some more. So let's just see where you're sitting at. Sitting at about 614 words. So if I were you, I would take this website, I would boost it up to about 1500 words at the minimum. That way you know that you're actually getting all those clients, uh, your, your Google knows that you're an authority and you know what you're talking about. To look at some of your competition, I know that you cover the whole Metroplex, so I'm just showing you Fort Worth, but the the fact that you open you can or you work in the whole Metroplex gives you a lot more room to play with. So this is Joiner Plumbing. These are number one when you type in Fort Worth Plumbing. And their website has a little bit more than you, probably around 700 words. Again, you're going to want to shoot for about 1,000, 1,500, probably about 2,000 though because we're talking about Fort Worth, Dallas. You want to take the entire area, okay? The next thing you're going to want to look at is Clearwater Plumber. These are another big competitor of yours. They're sitting closer to about 1,000, 1,200 words on their front page. So again, you're going to want to make sure that with your, with your page, you're getting up to about 1,500 words. That way Google knows that you're an authority and that as long as it's stuff with those keywords such as like Dallas Fort Worth Plumbing, Dallas Plumber, Emergency Plumbing Services, stuff like that, you're going to be ranked for all those keywords as well. Now, content is king in this industry, but it's not the end-all fix-all. The second part of the equation is backlinks because Google is kind of like a popularity contest. And so they're looking for other websites that are linking back to your website and driving traffic from their website to yours. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. You're going to get a much, much better return and much better effect when you have backlinks coming from other plumbing companies than you would if you had like Pizza Hut or something like that linking back to you because you're not in pizza, obviously. So just showing you what you have. I use this tool to check out the back end of websites called AREFs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month depending on what plan you use, but it gives you a lot of really valuable data. So for your website, seniorrooter.com, it shows that you've steadily decreased over the last three months, had a drop, jumped back up, steadily decreased, dropped, and you stayed pretty low. As far as your ranking, it's just been kind of going down. Um, you have 25 websites pointing at you, giving you 280 backlinks, and they all have zero power. So I'm interested to see if any of them are giving you any do follow links. Let's see. So that your own website is, but yeah, a lot of your, a lot of this stuff, textlinks.com, a lot of this stuff has, not, none of this stuff has anything to do with, um, with plumbing whatsoever. This actually right here, it means that pe people are buying your information right here. Decent lead fighter, that, that is a website that sells information. So you don't have really any powerful websites pointing at you. What I would recommend is going to your competitors, taking their links that they're using that are powering their website and apply it to yourself. So I'll show you some of those. Here's joinerplumbing.net. They've got 42 domains pointing at them with 660 backlinks, and the traffic is much, much higher than yours. Same with Clearwater Plumber. They've got 94 websites pointing at them with 1,300 backlinks. So it's really easy. You just go into their websites, uh, you, take, you take the domain that they have, that have to do with plumbing, leave the bad ones behind, and then add some more on top of that. So looking in your industry, since you're targeting Dallas-Fort Worth, the Dallas area is a lot more competitive than Fort Worth. 
If you want to start taking those Fort Worth clients and then build up, that's what I recommend. But to do that, you're going to have to start with at least 100 to 120 websites pointing back at you. And the more that are within plumbing, the better your chance you have of getting ranked number one in Google's eyes. All right, last thing I'm going to talk to you about is citations. If you look right here, when someone needs a plumber now, they're going to Google Fort Worth Plumbing and they're going to pick someone that's in this map pack. The reason why, but why is they need to pay and they need someone trustworthy. They don't have time to go searching through and researching plumbers. Whoever's here is typically regarded as trustworthy. So Benjamin Franklin keeps getting customers over and over because they're sitting at the top. So to get into this map pack and to outrank everybody, you have to have more citations than your competitor. Citations are anywhere where your full name, your address, and your phone number is listed in directories on the web. And I'm sure you're asking, what is a directory? How do I get into that? Uh, directories are just websites that allow you to list your business's information. So, you're talking about Yelp, you're talking about Yext, um, Facebook, a really common one is like white pages, yellow pages. And so, a good strategy we employ and we have our clients employ as well is to go check out your competitors that are within, uh, go check out your competitors, see what directories they're listed in, go list yourself in those same directories, and then add on another 20 to 30% to give yourself a nice space cushion. Because once they notice that you've taken their spot, they're going to start chasing you, and you just continue to put those citations up month after month, and you'll hold that number one spot and take all that, all that business. So that's all I've got for you, John. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you found it very informative. If you want to take this information and apply it yourself, by all means, I can even send you, you know, screenshots every two weeks of your ARFs account so you don't have to worry about paying for it. I can just do it for you. If you want me to handle this for you, you can just check out our website. It's seodallastexas.com, and here's our phone number. It's 214-441-6737. Uh, if you're on mobile, you can also click right here. It'll go straight to our website or straight to our phones. But appreciate you watching this again. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, John.